Let's talk about right-sided versus left-sided heart failure. It's important to know when talking about left and right for your patient, it's always from their perspective, not yours. All right, let's talk about the heart for a second. The right side of the heart sends blood to the lungs to be oxygenated, where the left side of the heart pumps oxygenated blood to the entire body. So if the left side fails, where's the blood going to back up into? The lungs. So for left-sided heart failure, think lungs. You'll see pulmonary symptoms. Examples are dyspnea or trouble breathing, orthopnea or trouble breathing while lying down, paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea, which is shortness of breath while sleeping, and crackles heard in the lungs, again from that excess fluid. Okay, next remember, deoxygenated blood from the body enters the right atrium, then the right ventricle. So if the right side fails, where is the blood going to back up into? Well, the body will have deoxygenated blood pooling into the body. So with right-sided heart failure, think rest of the body. You'll see venous symptoms. Examples of this are swelling of the legs and hands, weight gain, pitting edema, large neck veins, jugular vein distension, ascites, and hepatomegaly, which is an enlarged liver, again, from that fluid buildup. That's a quick overview of left-sided versus right-sided heart failure. If you need more help with med surge diseases like this, you can find it in the complete med surge flashcards. They're available on my shop, Nurse in the Making. Happy studying, future nurses.